Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? This is the shopkeeper, James Kevin Johnson, or J Kev as some call me, or the shopkeeper, whatever you want to call me, the natural wellness shop. Um, this doing this one thing can really change uh your life. Doing this one thing, incorporating this one simple tactic can really revolutionize uh, your life and uh, kind of help you get a better handle on things uh, if you're not doing this one thing already. Now, this concept isn't new. It's It's been around for a while, but I recently read the book by Robin Sharma, um, The 5 a.m. Club. The 5 a.m. Club by uh, Robin Sharma. I recently read that and it, it's a pretty good book actually. You know, it's a lot of the principles and concepts that he touches on and hit on um, aren't anything new and I'm sure many of us have heard a lot of them but just the way he uh, curates and aggregates a lot of the concepts together and the way he explains them and the way he expresses them, I think, is very clear and very practical. And it, he expresses things in such a useful manner and a useful way that it just really just makes things a lot more clear. But he goes through a lot of different tactics and strategies and principles um, in the book, but the one the one that I just kind of want to harp on and uh, hone in on and kind of just hammer down on when it comes to your health, um, your wealth, your relationships and your happiness. Um, when it comes to <clears throat> getting on track in your journey and uh, helping get things in line. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed that when I corp- when I have incorporated it and continue to cultivate and, and keep it going in my life has really made things a lot better. And that is getting up early. Of course, by the title, hopefully you figured it out. Just talking about waking up early. And he talks about specifically, you know, waking up at 5 a.m. And this is something that... Uh, um, when you look at high performers, when you look at people, the movers and shakers of the world, when you look at uh, a lot of people to get that gets things done uh, in the world, one of the uh, common themes or one of the common thing that you things or common um, behaviors or habits that, that they've cultivated, many of them in their life is the habit of getting up early. And getting um, up before everybody else and kind of just spending some time uh, studying and meditating and exercising and uh, not, you know, taking advantage of that quiet hour. And I've noticed this in my, in my personal life when I, I would get up early is that it just seems like. Uh, It's a perfect time to have that uninterrupted uh, thinking, you know, that uninterrupted time in which you can spend on yourself and do the self-care that uh, many of us are lacking uh, today. Many of us don't get to experience and uh, get to have in our life because uh, many of us uh, wake up as soon as the clock goes off. We roll out of bed. We fall out. We put on a fireman's hat and we go put out fires all day and then we come back home and (laughs) we kind of bonk, you know, we kind of doze out or check out for a little bit. And uh, we do the same thing the next day, you know, not really making the being intentional and purposeful about putting those end caps uh, on our day. That's really going to help us kind of detoxify our heart our mind and our body and to bring things into priority and clarity uh, for the day and uh, help uh, establish and get to keep some things right keep help keep us on track so 
cultivating the habit, um, incorporating the tactic of waking up early is very useful. It's very important and it's very essential uh, to anyone, to anybody, to you. If you want to be a mover and shaker and you want to get things moving in your life and get things accomplished um, in your life, if you know, not only just feel like, but know that you're making progress with respect to some of the, the desires and the wants that you would like to see happen and take place in your life. Um, you know, you only, I always say you only get one, a one way ticket through this plane of existence. Uh, so you want to make sure that, uh, you squeeze as much life out of life, out of life as you can. So, um, the, you know, getting up at 5 a.m. and incorporating what he calls uh, the power hour, spending 20 minutes um, exercising, 20 minutes planning, and then spending 20 minutes studying uh, whatever it is that you want to study that uh, is to your heart's in t- uh, desire to your inclinations, uh, leanings. <clears throat> you don't have to, you know, you can always modify and do this, that, and the other, but it's just a structure, a basic structure that can help you get on your way and help you, uh, get things, um, uh, incorporated and started as far as the habit. He talks about the rule of uh, in order to establish a habit, it takes 66 days. You know, you'll hear studies that say it, it, st- it takes less and maybe it takes more. Who no- really knows? But he, he says that uh, according to a study that it takes 66 days to have a habit um, entrenched and have a habit established uh, in your brain uh, to where the um um what what they say uh, neurons that fire together or, or whatever <laughs> connect uh i forgot the the saying that that they say but you know to have that uh, that those pathways a habit establishing your brain to where you don't really have to think about it it just becomes automatic uh, he says it takes about 66 days so uh, if you could struggle um, if whatever you t- it takes for you to get up at 5 a.m. and make that a habit, getting up early and uh, getting some exercise in, getting some quiet meditation time in, getting some study time in, getting some uh, planning time in, getting that time that's uninterrupted, that time that uh, where you have, you know, some it's quiet and nothing is really going on. It it says it just does a lot for you when it comes to your health, when it comes to your wellness, when it comes to uh, you optimizing your humanity and just about every area of your life um, that 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 can make it simple, but it can make a huge impact. Like I said, it can really revolutionize uh, things for you. So getting that, uh, you know. That rest that you need in order for you to get up at 5 a.m. Uh, refreshed and ready to go. That's that goes without saying, but I guess so I do have to say it. And that it, that uh, we have to really be adamant and we have to be um, vigilant and vigilant when it comes to making sure that we get to bed at a decent time. 10 a.m. is often uh, the time that is pointed out. Um 10 a.m. Getting try to get in bed by 10 10 a.m. as a structure, and then get up by 5 a.m. as uh, some goals to kind of point to. It's not gonna be perfect all the time, every time, but it's just it's just a structure that's there that can really help you get moving in the right direction. Um, especially just look, looking at the way things are headed and trending. With respect to the Western culture and the way things are going for most people these days, people aren't getting the sleep they need. And, you know, we all can see that people really aren't getting the exercise that 
they need the way their bodies need it, and people really aren't doing the planning uh, that they need. Hence, is why it's trending. Uh, a lot of people are in pain, whether it be physically, you know, disease and not uh, fully well, whether it be uh, emotionally experiencing uh, a lot of negative emotions like worry, anxiety, um, depression, whether it be, you know, mentally, a lot of people are having experiencing what's called brain fog and not being able to think coherently and cl- with clarity. Uh, many people aren't able to wield uh, the creative juices and get in the flow of things um, just because they're not their brain isn't working to full capacity. And then uh, a lot of people don't know their purpose. A lot of people aren't spiritually connect, connected uh, with the heavenly uh, divine, with with God, the creator himself. A lot of people aren't connected, so they they don't know their purpose. They don't know why they're here. They don't know. If they're, if they're even meant to be here with a purpose or a destiny, they just, uh, many people go through life it's like a, like a basketball game without the baskets, <laughs> you know, no goals, you know, just going, running up and down the court, uh, working out somebody else's dream and somebody else's agenda. So just wanted to come on and talk about that for today's podcast. Um, getting up at 5 a.m. based on just coming off the thoughts of uh, Robin Sharma's book, The 5 a.m. Club, and just looking at that one simple yet impactful uh, strategy or tactic that anybody can use that uh, can really revolutionize your life. I also just got the reading uh, about Cal Newport. Newport New, let me let me get his name right, Cal. Uh, digital. Minimalism. Let me look that up. Digital minimalism. Let me ask Google here. Here we go. Yeah, Cal Newport. And I just read that. Digital minimalism, choosing a focused life in a noisy world. And, you know, he talks about the same thing. Uh, Deep Work is another book by him. And then, uh, uh, so good they can't ignore you is another book by Cal. I like Cal's writings. He talks about um, being purposeful and intentional about our social media life and uh, computers, and just being intentional about our time and not letting not letting things get away and being wasteful and uh, taking uh, the time to develop the skill and hone the the skill of being able to focus. And think deeply and uninterrupted. And this is what getting up at 5 a.m. will help you do. It will help you cultivate and hone that skill of being able to have um, focus and intense uh, thought versus a lot of people today aren't uh, are losing that ability very quickly uh, to really like hold uh, coherent, deep thought. Uh, for an extended period of time, that's that's becoming a, a luxury uh, for a lot of people. We don't want that to happen. We want you to go to keep what you have and cultivate it and get it going in the other direction. We want you to be a superpower, a super brain in that respect. So that's all I had for today. This is Kevin J. Kev, James Kevin Johnson, the shopkeeper over at the Natural Wellness Shop. Uh, just having a, a chat with you today, talking about getting up at 5 a.m. and applying the 2020 principle. Exercise for 20 minutes, study for 20 minutes, and do some planning uh, for 20 minutes. Or if you want to switch it up, if you want to mod- modify, you can do that too. <laughs> so, this. Thanks for joining me. Hit like, share, leave a comment. Let me know that you're out there. Definitely appreciate you. And I don't take your time and attention for granted. So that's all I got for today. Talk to you all soon.